Well, some people throw them over the fence, and a lot of people think they're quite a delicacy. They're called Rocky Mountain oysters, so we save them and split them up among the people that have families here and among ourselves. They use they they like to fry them and eat them. What's the particular recipe for that? Do you have to do something to them first? Yeah, to get them ready to cook, you there's a, quite a membrane over them. You have to split that off and uh, get just the main testicle part out, none of the cords, and then split that and fry them. Have a little, uh, want to hear about my Frenchman? <laughs> yeah, actually. What about your Frenchman? Well, ranch help is getting uh, hard to get. And a while back, uh, a while back, I got two French boys to going to try to make buckaroos out of them. I thought, well, maybe one way to keep them on the job is to really give them good chow, really feed them good. So uh, the first night he came in, they wanted to know what we was going to have for uh, supper. I told them uh, uh, going to have calf fries and mashed potatoes and salad and so on and so forth. They didn't know what calf fries were, so I explained to them that the calf fries were the testicles out of the calves that we branded that day. And they saw that sounded pretty good. The next night they came in and wanted to know what I was going to have. I told them, oh, we're going to have lamb fries tonight. And they wondered what the lamb fries. And uh, they said, well, uh, I told them, explained that it was the same thing. It was the testicles out of the lambs. The third night we came in to supper and they said, what are we having tonight? And I said, we're having beef steak and french fries. My God, I haven't seen my Frenchman since. I don't know what became of them. <laughs>